following question reads that uh, what is the unit for resistance when expressed in SI base units? So resistance expressed as SI base units. So let's uh, start with the formula for resistance which is uh, voltage over current and then uh, voltage can be written as uh, voltage is energy per charge. So it's work done per charge. So we can write down voltage as work done per unit charge and we are dividing it by current as well so we we'll keep the i over there now work done is uh, we can further derive uh, work done work done is force into distance and you can then further uh, convert force into distance uh, force is mass into acceleration so if i if i write this write this down it's going to be it's going to be mass multiplied by or we can just simply say m into a into d uh, the unit for mass is uh, let's drive the unit for mass it's going to be kg acceleration is meters per second square or it's a change in velocity over time so meters per second divided by time which is second so meters per second square or we can call that as ms minus 2 uh, whereas distance uh, the unit for distance is going to be meters so this over here is going to be the unit for work done and let's also derive the unit for charge uh, charge uh, Q is equal to I into T uh, and if I convert that that would be ampere into second ampere seconds so that's Q so let's uh, take this whole thing now and put in these units and see what uh, we can simplify if we can simplify it further so my uh, resistance unit, uh, if I derive it in base units, it's going to be work done, which is uh, which we de derived as kg ms minus two into m, or we can call that as kg m squared s minus two, uh, because there are two m's in the expression, so that's m squared. Uh, the bottom one is charge into current, which is ampere second into current again, so that's ampere squared ampere second into ampere so that's ampere squared into seconds uh, further simplifying this uh, it is going to give me it's going to give me kg meter square uh, this s minus 2 would become s minus 3 because there's uh, if i bring this s on top it's going to become uh, s minus 1 so that would be s minus 3 so it's going to be s minus 3 and then ampere would be minus 2 so this over here would be my final unit for uh, uh, or my final derived base unit for resistance so if I look for this expression the correct expression is given in option B over here if you look at option B the correct expression is given so B would be my answer for this question